Hey folks, welcome back. I just got shot with a mosquito, which I hate. They are one of the most hated living things in all of creation. I hate them, in real life and in the game. Look how annoying these stupid things are. Hang on a second, I can't even talk. I can't even think I hate them so much. Die. Oh my gosh, look at him dodging my freaking arrows. Be gone with you. I wish I had, like, pesticide. I don't even care about the environment at this point. But we are actually going to go up that tree that I once located a while ago and kind of forgot about for a really long time. So, here we go. I have a very powerful pyromancy flame now and pyromancy spells. I actually need to find a bonfire at some point and reattune. <gasps> Look! We found him! Oh my gosh, we actually found him. This is my old pyromancy teacher. Wait, what is he doing? <gasps> no way! He's gone hollow! Oh my gosh, this is insane. Laurentius, no! No, we are friends! We had a romance together with our, our pyromancies. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to kill him. There's nothing else to be done here. We just gotta kill him. He's poisoned, so that's gonna help. I wonder if maybe I should, uh... Uh-oh. Okay, I thought he was gonna do combustion. Maybe I should try and parry him here. Whoa, watch out! Backstab! Is he dead? Oh, Laurentius, no! No, buddy. I don't even get anything for him. That's so sad. That's really sad. And we have a lot of friends who are maybe going down the same path. Uh, Solaire sounded like he was starting to hollow. He was getting really depressed that he hadn't found his son. Uh, Siegmeyer, I can't imagine, is going to get through this game well off. I'm sure he's going to hollow. It's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty tough. This world really just, like, sad. Well, let's move on. At least I found closure. We found Laurentius. We know what became of him. He's gone mad and hollow at the bottom of the swamp. And I don't remember why he came. I think he wanted to try and find the, the spider lady, the chaos witch that we found. And maybe he got lost down here and couldn't... Who is that? Is that Ziegmeier? Why has Blighttown become a hot spot for new and old NPCs alike? I thought you guys were supposed to go to Firelink Shrine. I mean, he did, but now he's here. What are you doing here, Ziegmeier? Wait, wait, we have a slug. Actually, it's a leech. There we go. All right, all is well. Ziegmeier. Oh, shoot, don't get poisoned. Why are you here? Answer. Oh my gosh, he sleeps standing up. What a boss. Mm -hmm. Oh ho! Excuse me, I was so absorbed in thought I just drifted away. You see, I'm actually in a bit of a fix. I've made it this far, but I'm short on antidote mods for the trip back. I have some. Um, by my knighthood, I'm ashamed to ask, but can you spare a few scraps of moss? Yeah, absolutely. I've got tons of moss. Uh, fantastic. Thank you. A saint you are. This knight of Katarina expresses his deepest gratitude. I shall not forget this. Please, take this. A symbol of my appreciation. Wow, a pure shield. It's probably garbage, actually. Well, our fates do seem entwined, don't they? Perhaps this, too, is the will of Lord Gwyn. <laughs> oh, Lord Gwyn. <laughs> So he's a follower of the old gods. Well, they're not old, they're actually current in this particular game chronology, I think. A poison swamp, like quicksand in there. Hmm. Yeah, I wish you had a rusted iron ring, I bet. Poison swamp, like quick. Hmm. I've already gone down there, I think. Now I'm having a bit of trouble, though, figuring out where was that, uh. Where was that tree root that I could climb up? There it is. I see it. Oh, great. Darn it. Oh, no. 
They're actually a bit tougher than they look, aren't they? How much damage did that do? 296. Pretty good. Okay, well, let's see where this leads. Hopefully, it's not like a really small detour. Dead end ahead. Illusory wall ahead. That is very conflicting information, friends. The plank shield. Haha, <laughs> what a joke. All right, real quick, before we continue, let's actually read some things here. Uh, we have the pierced shield that we just acquired. It's a shield of certain knights of Katarina. Not all. Certain knights. Used in attacks with a large protrusion in center. So it actually has a attack. Can be used as a thrust weapon. But do you parry with it is the question. Now, not much flavor text there. But let's go and take a look at a great magic weapon as well, which we found a while ago. At Vinheim Dragon School, only magic swordsmen on special orders are allowed to learn this spell, which grants powerful augmentation to various weapons. Not all. Various weapons. Um, and the, we also found the plank shield, right. Which maybe is at the top? It almost makes it seem like they're, the shields are ordered. Oh, they must be ordered by weight or something. Makeshift shield built from wood planks. Provides minimal protection, but at the cost of moderate humiliation. Well, if it's only moderate. Yep. Not one there. Just this one. How is the durability doing on my sword, by the way? 181. So we're in good shape. Illusory wall ahead. Wow, this is actually going to be just like... Uh, there's a there's a spot like this in Dark Souls 3 that has something similar. Twin humanities. I really needed humanity. I'm super low. There is! The Great Hollow! This is actually its own separate area. Huh. That's actually great. That's fantastic. It, it would have been a really short detail, uh, detour otherwise. Going down. Oh, I got souls. Why? A bonfire! You don't say. That is pretty great. I'm actually going to kindle this bonfire. Uh, um, not yet. If I die, I'll kindle it. If I don't die, then... Maybe I don't need to kindle it. So, we'll use that. Now, what I can do is attune some magic. Let's grab Fire Whip. And then, what else can we get here? Mm, Undead Rapport could be good. Just to try out, maybe. We'll put on Great Chaos Fireball as well. Now, just to test it out, let's see how this goes. Yeah, see? I wonder if I can hold it down. Can I hold it down? But how many uses do I actually get out of this thing? Interesting. Just what, like five? So as I thought, you don't actually get that many uses for it, and it seems like it would be really hard to hit things with. But we'll leave it on for now, just to see. I'm gonna look for drop downs. So we can drop down to the right. I could probably jump to the left. Jesus Christ. Be still my freaking heart. That was pretty scary, actually. Now I know it's gonna happen, so I should be fine. What happened to you, my friend? Did you just drop off for no reason? He did. Didn't even seem to be aiming for anything. I, can I walk on this? No, you can't. Cannot walk on that. There's a path over there. I don't think that's the same path that I just came from. No invisible walls here. That's, uh, surprising. We can keep going down this way, though. There's an item over there.
Hmm. It's hard to see what is what here. Like with all of these convoluted branches, it's I'm trying to figure out like where I need to go to get some of these items, and it's just really tough to tell because I can't see. I can definitely drop down to that. I don't want to just go jumping off of places yet. Oh my gosh, look, look at that. We got basilisks. Let's kill them. Alright, so what is this? Oh, here's another one. Not bad. Not bad. I know how to deal with them because I have fought them already. Hmm. Alright, at least we got an item. A large soul. We do need souls. I have pyromancies to purchase. Pop up here. Now, maybe now is the time. No, I'll carry on. So, I can always just backtrack. No problem. If So, instead of doing any of the drop-offs, I think the best, like, systematic way to explore this area will be not to drop off anywhere yet. Just go as far as I can without dropping. And then we'll backtrack and do some drop-downs. Starting from the top. It might be a little bit tedious, but I don't know any other way that I can basically check things off my list and know that I've completed it and what I have not completed. The mental list, of course. I'm not one for writing things down. Never have been. Never liked notes or anything like that. I think it's just worth the extra effort to memorize something. If you're going to put effort into taking notes, just, just memorize it. It takes... To me, it doesn't take it as... What is with that shadow? A corpse or something. That's not how... I think it was on a branch. That's not really how shadows work. We're going pretty far down. A ladder. Don't need to say that. You guys can see it for yourself, but... Didn't know what else to say. Just came out of my mouth. Hmm... The fibers of this tree kind of, like, band together to form a floor here. A floor that doesn't seem sturdy. That I feel, I, I fear that I may actually fall through. Oh, we can stand on it, all right. Shortcut. What, you mean the ladder? When we just came down? More basilisks. Let's charge them here. Oh, ow. Well, a basilisk anymore. There's a corpse above us somewhere. Yeah, we got more. Oh. <laughs> Alright then. I will see you later, Mr. Basilisk. Because uh, there's a ladder there. And we'll take it. Very soon. Visible wall. How great would that have been if I had hit the ground and then it just collapsed? It has the look about it of something that would collapse like that. Now, do I want to go down the ladder next? I think I do. It's time. Let's see what we have down below. Hello, Mr. Basilisk. Oh, watch out. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Oh, no. Now I'm a bit worried. I like the, the way that the, the smoke looks for the basilisks in this game. Oh, he's gone. Let's go around and get that other guy. Where is he? Aha. Now, curse builds up super fast. At least, that's how I remember it when I got cursed in the depths before. I wasn't covered in that smoke for very long before it took effect. We are passing up a ton of drop-off points. Wow, I can't believe how far this is going. I did not expect this at all. That goes down over there. Hmm. Is it just drop-off points? 
Yeah, it seems so. We have just this path. No, 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 that's the, that's the dead end. It's a downward path, right? Here we go. Did you just fall off? No, I think he actually got cursed. We'll be able to tell by the death animation. Nope, he backed off. He wasn't looking behind him. Okay, those look like mushrooms. Wow, look at that item. That's going to be tough to get. Oh. Yeah. Big mushrooms growing out the side of the tree. I actually want to get some shots with uh, some a bit of footage without the HUD. This is a nice looking area right now. We can actually jump to that mushroom if I wanted to. Oh, I, I saw a mushroom person. Look at them. Oh, they're so cute. These were not hostile to me before, but they seem to be now. What? Did they just make that noise? Oh my gosh, look at him go! <laughs> I think they made that noise just now. Alright, I can walk onto this mushroom. That's a dead basilisk. An item over there. There's so many items that I'm going to have to drop off in order to get. Okay, this looks like a drop-off point in order to get down there, so I am not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to backtrack and figure out if I can get any of those other items up top. I assume it'll it'll take basically dropping down and then making my way back up after dropping back to the main path and doing that a bunch of times to get all of these items. Which it'll be hard to tell I've even done because it's so hard to take a look around through this dense webbing of branches. I'm going to put my HUD on really quick again. Uh, there's the ladder up. Perfect. This place is very different from a lot of the other areas. Actually, each of the areas have such a unique character. Um, they all feel quite a bit different. I'm, I'm surprised about that, actually. Refreshingly surprised. There's another item over there. That might be the first one I go for. But there are paths that don't just lead to items. They actually lead to other paths. Oh! <gasps> Jesus. Get up, get up, get up. What's going on here? I can't get up. I'm gonna have to jump. Are you kidding me? I can't get up? Oh, no. Why are you doing this to me? Hmm. Disappointing. Very disappointing. I can't get over there, huh? Can't go back. Well, you know what I can do is I can use a homeward bone. Hopefully it doesn't bring the enemies back. I think I'm going to do it, too. Start from the beginning again. Bonfire last rested at, which should be, for sure, the bonfire at the beginning of the Great Hollow. Yep. Now we'll find out, too, if using a homeward bone alone brings the enemies back. Oh, it brought those back, so I think it did. Now, this time, I'm going to be looking for drop-off points. Drop-off points that matter. That one doesn't look like it matters. Now, hang on. There's a place over there to go. Maybe... If we drop off here, we can go all the way over to there. 
So hang on, let's do this. And then and climb Oh no 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 Damn it. 10,398 souls. Really hope that that is on the main path, not the side path. Even if it's on the side path, I could drop to it and then use a homeward bone. That's not a big deal. Not too bad. All right, let's grab those souls. Thank you. So what do I do here? How do I get to that path over there? It's a crystal lizard, huh? Now it's gone. Well, it almost makes it seem like there's no point to actually in even getting there. But I know where I would go now. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to Homeward Bone again, even though the bonfire is right there. So I can get that Crystal Lizard. I think I know what I have to do. I have to drop down to that branch and go over there. I don't think I have a, a fall damage uh, ring. There is a spell, but I don't even have the spell. All right, ready? Oh, for crying out loud. That's not what I was supposed to do. Damn it. I meant to jump. Oh! There's going to be a lot of me falling to my death, I think, in this part. Hmm. Where are my souls? Oh, they're behind the bonfire. I think I actually have to drop off here. Yeah, I did. That seems crazy to have to drop off that far. All right, let's go get that crystal lizard as fast as I can. Oh my gosh. It's disappearing. Yes, here it is. Did I get it? Yes, I got it. That is great. Where's this lead? Oh, this is exciting. I can see sometimes my the camera clips through the side. That's fine. Totally fine. Oh. oh. Hmm. Let's look before we leap. Oh, the basilisk part. Yeah, I remember this. Which means I should just go back up, I think. Although we could get this item now. Oh, this is going to be a little bit of a tricky one here. Oh, or not that tricky. Red Titanite Chunk. All right. That's the second one of those that we found. Now we're here. Does this lead inside this little tree bit? Got another item. Titanite Chunk. Ooh, a lot of good loot. A lot of good loot. And anything else? Hello? Oh, 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 I felt like I was going to die there, but uh, we're fine. I should maybe drop the, this, this one here. You kind of just have to go with it. Just, just start dropping, hope everything works out. It's pretty crazy, this area. Ah, oh, darn it, this doesn't lead anywhere, does it? Oh, we got to drop down to here. There's an item over there. But let's see where this leads. Also seems to be a non-path. It doesn't really lead anywhere. There's an item over there. How do I get to that? Hmm, this is very precarious here. This is going to be a very dif a difficult drop. Um... Alright. Leap of faith. <gasps> yes! What do I get for that? White Titanite Chunk! I don't even know what that is! I think that might be new. No, we've got this before. What's it for again? Divine and Occult Weapons. Okay. Oh, well, we'll drop to here next. Which actually will allow us to get this item now. Blue Titanite. Have I seen Blue Titanite? Yes, I have. Magic and Enchanted. That's not. That, that's the one that's not useful to us at the moment with this character. 
another item over there. It's going to be a tough one to get. What have I done? This is not a good place to be. Where am I supposed to go? I've made a mistake. I think I should just homeward bone here. Let's just put them on the quick, the quick bar, actually. And how many do I have? Nine. So we're going to have to try and explore this entire place without running out of homeward bones. Since they are the only way for me to get back and not just kind of give up on my souls. I could spend the souls. If I pop what I've got in my inventory, I will have enough for one level. But I actually would prefer to save the souls and then buy pyromancies with Quilana when, when we inevitably get out of this area at some point. Question is, what else can I possibly find? That doesn't look like anything. But who knows? Who knows with this place? I can't find... Ugh. I'm definitely going to miss things. What is this, though? I just want to check it out. Nothing. What is this? Okay, we're back with the basilisks. They should be coming to kill me now. Let's get back up. Did I not get inside this tree thing yet? Oh! Yeah, we have already been in here. Okay. I don't remember what I found there, though. There's a corpse here. Which you've already found. <gasps> Damn it! I got stuck trying to go past an area that is not an area. I should be able to get my souls fairly easily. We just have to be very careful right now. And if I lose them, it's not the end of the world either. I'm actually not too worried about it. It's only 10,000. We can get 10,000 quick at this point in the game. Where do we go? Oh, look at that item. How the hell do I get there? Also, there are my souls. This is... odd. Do I drop in through the middle of the tree to get that? Let's just take a look around here first. See if there's any visible walls. Um, are these my souls? They are. All right, so now I'll backtrack. See if I can drop down to through the top of the tree. That's the only thing I can think of to get that. And look at that. Another crystal lizard over there. Holy cow. There's so many. This place is insane. I could spend so long in here and not even find everything. Uh, it's actually quite bothersome trying to figure things out here. Oh, here goes nothing. And I died. <laughs> I know what I have to do now, though. I just have to be better at aiming. That was a bit careless of me. Maybe I should just... Maybe I should just forget the... <sighs> Excuse me. Yawn attack there. It literally came on... Very suddenly, I, I had no defense to the yawn attack. Do this a bit better. Here we go. Chloranthy ring. Oh, baby. I'm going to put that on right now. That is going to make my stamina regenerate faster. Yep. Does the same thing that it did in Dark Souls 3. And now this just leads to the... Okay. This is the main path again. But can I not get out of here? Oh, for crying out loud. Why did they do this? Why is it that I... Okay, there we go. About to start freaking out. Now. The next plan of action is to try and figure out... How to get to... There's another side path with a crystal lizard. You have to try and figure out how to get there. 
think that's a side path I've already been. I've already been there. Now we're basically back at the beginning. Yeah, here it is. Huh. I don't remember now where I saw that other path with the crystal lizard. At all. Uh, not over there. Maybe if I just keep going down a bit, I'll see it and then I can backtrack to it. Keep looking around. Keeping my head on a swivel. Keeping it on a lazy Susan. Is that a place that I should be going down there? No, I've been there, I think. I sound my footsteps. Oh, Jesus. There's a crystal lizard there. Let's uh, do this. And then, oh, it disappeared. Are you serious? That seemed way too fast. No fair. Well, let's continue on then instead. I'll see if I can find some other things down below and then we'll work our way back down some other time. I, I wanna see what's all the way down at the bottom now at this point. Oh, there's an item over there though that I'm gonna miss. Because you have to drop to it. Yeah, right over there. Maybe I can still get it. I'll go back up and see. <laughs> Sorry, I'm actually leaning farther and farther away from the mic as I do this. I don't know why, but I just, I've started like almost like laying down. Maybe I'm just that tired. I'm gonna fall asleep while playing. Mm hmm. We can't. Oh, this is the part where we can't backtrack. Dang it. And I'm not going to be able to jump over there either. Hmm. Well, I'm going to use another homeward bone. And then after I use this one, we'll just continue down, try and get to the bottom. If there's any items left after that, I'll have to just get it later. Now, this is tricky. Keeping my eyes as peeled as I can keep them. For that crystal lizard. I may have already screwed it up. I don't even know. I can't keep the layout of this place in my head at all. I just have to keep scanning. My eyes. Old-fashioned way here. Is it going to be over there? Oh, no! Oh, look at that. There's two crystal lizards there. Amazing. I could plunge attack that, actually, from a, uh, from a location I don't think is that hard to reach. But it might be. Let's see. Let's try this again. I can't believe this. What a crazy area that they're making you do. Oh, hello. Are you serious? Why are there so many crystal lizards that are just, like, there all of a sudden? Some bull crap. Some bull crap. Oh, no. This is the part that killed me. Also, I don't know where those crystal lizards are. Should I go down here? And then try and, like, run up over here real quick? Isn't this where they were? But they're gone. Is that not where they were? Oh, no. Look at that. Kill it! Oh my gosh, how do you get there fast enough? I don't understand. I don't understand how I'm supposed to do this. Well, screw it, I guess. Let's see if we can't get that other item. I may have already screwed myself here. Yeah, it's not looking good. All right, oh well, we'll get that later. Let's just go down to the bottom. I said I was gonna give it just one more shot, and I did. Shot's over. I have to approach that item from the other side somehow. And there's still another offshoot that I haven't explored, because I remember that's where I saw the original uh, crystal lizard that made me do that whole backtrack. And I never found that. Oh no. 
Oh, I'm getting cursed even from that, huh? Oh, he dodged me. Pretty nice. Oh, not good. This is a problem. <laughs> There's a lot more frogs down here than I remembered there were. Are we all done? Is that it? Please be it. Alright, let's get that item. It's easy. Oh, what do you drop? Eye of Death. What the hell is that? That's awesome. Eye of Death. Eye of Death. Eye of Death. Not a consume... Oh, yes it is. Lure phantoms from other worlds. What? Only Covenanter can use the item while, ho while Hollows cannot. Why would you say that? Isn't that kind of redundant? The dreadful... No, it's not, because you have to be a Covenanter and human. The dreadful eyes of death spread disaster across neighboring worlds. Phantoms lured to the host world may end up as victims, allowing the eyes of death to multiply and lending, leading to further pro proliferation of bane. What a strange item. So you pull someone into your world? Like someone who's already invading or just some random random person. I can't tell where I need to drop just from this. Is that the item? Just try this right here. Oh my gosh. It's just a white knight white tight knight chunk. That's not even that good. Man, this is really tedious. Tedious and terrifying, and I'm gonna die. Yeah, god. Darn it, gosh darn it. Almost did something worse than that. Ooh, this area is gonna drive me insane. It's like a boss. It's like the Sleeping Hollow itself is a boss. And this is how you have to fight it. You have to get all the way down here, and it's gonna be one little thing that I attack, and it'll kill the boss, and the whole tree's gonna collapse and die. And I have to really be on the lookout here for crystal lizards. I have no idea where they could be. Let's do a jump. These are where the uh, the basilisks are, but it doesn't even matter. I'm just going to skip them. This is a bit haphazard, but I don't care. I have to move quick if I want to get any of these crystal lizards, which I don't see. <gasps> that was a little bit too crazy. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Not sure how that worked. There's a basilisk above me. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know what to do. What is the path? Let's do this one. Total guesswork. Get out of here. Hmm, there's the ladder. Not bad. I would love to be able to get that one item that I wasn't able to get before. Where? Oh no, I did get it. Oh, look at this. But how the hell do I get that? That seems crazy to me. And now I've already screwed up my chances of going in that direction. Wait, but then how do I... Oh my gosh. Am I gonna have to jump over there? But there's no way I can do that, right? What if I jumped all the way over there? <gasps> That's not a jump. I'm alive! I don't know how, but I'm alive. I'm gonna get cursed, but I made it. That seems... <laughs> wow, the fall damage it actually is really forgiving. Alright, let's just get to my souls. That's all I want gonna be a bunch of basilisks. That's totally fine. I'm just gonna run past you guys, if you don't mind. Maybe I can't. Maybe the souls are at a drop-off, not a ladder. There's a ladder up. I need a ladder down, or the drop-off that'll take me to my souls.
Come on. Alright, what am I doing here? Show me the way. Show me the way to my souls. There they are. Ooh. Why are they there? Are you kidding me? What? What the hell? Can I jump to that? This doesn't seem right at all. <laughs> Why is this where I ended up? Oh, well, I'm alive so far. Something is not right. All the time, I feel like I'm doing something horribly wrong. Oh, mushrooms! Let's maybe just skip them this time. I missed an item. Oh no, they're, they're gonna start piling up now. They're probably gonna hit really hard, just like their big brothers and sisters. Hmm. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil. We've got lots of mushrooms now. Lots of them! Can I just run past, please, just for now? Uh, fog wall? Do it. Where am I going here? Ash Lake! Whoa. Oh my gosh, where am I? Listen to the music. There's a bonfire. Wait, but how do I get to that bonfire? This is such a crazy looking area. I feel like I've made it to the center of the world, you know what I mean? That's what this looks and feels like. I'm in the center of like, oh, dang, it's a Hydra. Let's light this bonfire. Hang on, I need to remove my HUD really quick for this, this beauty. Look how amazing. Wow. Well, I think this is a good place to stop. Uh, thank you very much for watching. It's nice to make progress. It's nice to have new pyromancies. I'm really glad that I discovered this area, which feels like a real secret area. This feels like something that that mortal eyes are not meant to see, you know? That's the, the sense I'm getting from the music and the look of it. it look, it's like we're under the world. Like, that's our real world up there. And then we are somehow... But wait, we can't be, because we actually came up through the Great Hollow. Wait, no, we didn't. We dropped down through the Great Hollow after going up. And that's the, the Great Hollow there. And there's many Great Hollows. Look at that. Yeah, this feels like something... It's almost like we've gone through the game world and we're, like, in this really odd dimension that mortal eyes are not meant to see. But anyway, we'll do that next time. Bye bye